sponsored by Skillshare. Check the link down below because the first 1,000 grains to click it get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Hey grains, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Today we have a really exciting candle kit. Today there's me. <laughs> you forgot to mention me. <laughs> I was waiting to see how that would affect you. I was like, me, me first. Me. 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 <laughs> I was like, oh, she's talking about the candle already. Okay. You got hyped. And yeah, then. Yeah. And then you broke it. And you broke it. Did it, it. My heart is gone. Oh, no. Here's a heart. No, it's gone. No. Look, it's over there. You, no. <laughs> okay. Here's a heart. Okay. And that's what you did to it. Why would you do that? You did that. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> Joining me today is my sister, Sika. There we go. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't seen you in a while. I know, I missed you. Mm -hmm. mm. You'll be seeing more of her. Yes. I don't know if that's a good thing. Or a bad thing. That's for you to decide. <laughs> we'll leave that up to you. That's my thing, stop. <laughs> Basically, in this series, we want to make sure that whatever we're getting is not going. In the trash. <laughs> so as I was saying, today we have one very special craft kit, which is called Professional Studio Bougie. Bougie, bougie. Candles. <laughs> in case you're wondering, bougie actually means candle. candles in French. So this is your word of the day. I can't say that word without thinking of that song. Bougie Ratchet. Yes, that Classy Bougie Ratchet. <laughs> Now this kit is really interesting because it's not the cheap type kits that I've been using and tried in many types of videos and have had really terrible experience with. This here cost me $55 plus tax, which is about this much in Canadian. I've had really terrible experiences, as you can see, with candles. I've even tried making my own candles with Crayola. Sika, what is your experience with candles? Lighting them, that's all I've done. And then like dipping my finger in the wax and then just pulling the wax off my finger. Who's never done that? I don't know. Everyone's done that, right? Let us know in the comment section below. Have you dipped your finger in wax before? I used to dip all my fingers and then just be like... <laughs> I know, and then it's just fun to peel. <laughs> to peel it off, yeah. It's kind of like uh, white glue. Mm -hmm. it feels like you're peeling skin. Oh, why are we like this? I don't know. <laughs> what I love about this kit is that the front of the box actually shows the materials in non-photoshopped, even though the character using it is Photoshop. Well, it's a drawing. Hmm. So it's a mixture of drawing and real. So I have a lot of hope. So I'm going to say my hope is up here. Zika? That's pretty high. Mm -hmm. I've never made candles, so I don't know where to put my hope at right now. <laughs> okay, I've had low hope in the past. I, I guess I'd have high expectations because it doesn't seem hard to make a candle. It's just wax, no? You would think. Yeah. The only thing that could make this kit fail is if it actually doesn't melt in the microwave. But oh. the side does clearly show that we can color, melt, and pour. So it should be like melt and pour type soap. And the results look absolutely adorable. The molds kind of make me think of that chocolate mold we had from Japan. Yeah, the, the spinny mold. Yeah, I hope it doesn't uh, pour out too much. But it does show here that it can have a little bit of leakage, which is nice because they actually put the real... Result. Yeah, instead of like... <laughs> Which is really nice because usually they kind of Photoshop all of the like imperfections out. Mm -hmm. And the cat mold that we can see here reminds me of the cat candles that when it melts, it reveals a skeleton. I've so never seen that. That's you've great. never seen these? No. Okay, I'm going to show you, but okay. you grains will see it here on screen. I'm guessing if this actually works, we could probably make our own armature out of any kind of metal and put it in inside. So am I excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Super. Are the grains excited? I hope so. And if you're not a grain, Make sure that you subscribe. Oh no, Sika now has the sharp pointy thing. Where's mine? This is not mine. I know this is mine, but now you have to subscribe because when you subscribe, you become a grain of salt in this family here. Make sure you click on all notifications while you're there. I also love the fact that we have so many different options. It looks like we have glitter, we have stamps. De detail, decal. I've been awake since four o'clock in the morning. It is now 4 p.m. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And when we turn the oh, box... Oh, hold on. It has nine different molds? Oh, nine? Yeah. Neuf oh. moules différents. So there's nine different molds. Nice! Again, I really don't mind paying an, a higher price tag when it comes to quality, but that's to be seen. Especially, this kit is actually from France. So my French grains, I have expectations now. Have we ever had French kits? No. This is going to be our first French kit? Yes. Hmm. Everything is writing on this. Hmm. Interesting. And when we turn the box around, yes, it does look like quite the extensive kit. But the best thing to do is see what we get inside. Is it heavy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so cute! Look, 
It's a little pot. Oh my gosh. There's so much Jackie, I can't see. Bruh. What the fuck? Watch your mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're good. Watch your face. Watch your face. Watch your face. Jackie! I warned you. Here's what we get inside. We have the workstation that can hold up to three different molds, including that cute little pot that we can melt the wax in. We also get nine different kinds of molds, everything from plain shapes all the way to cute animals and a skull. But, 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 but. During transportation, it seems like the cat's nose has been slightly smushed in and I think it's broken, but we're gonna try it anyways and use it because I really want to make a kitty cat. Sika, what did you want to make? I want to make the sphere, but I want to make the outside of the sphere a different color from what's the inside. Ooh, that's that's an advanced technique. I'm trying. Right? I'm trying. Okay, interesting. So you want to make a dual color candle. Yes. We also get really tiny molds if you wanted to just make kind of tea light type molds. Uh, candles. Stop judging me. Don't look at me like that. We also get decorations. So quite a bit of glitter, some like sticker thingy majiggies here, some charms and a sharpener. That was very long-winded. And um, we get this and that. I, I'm shutting down a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> and we have a sticker set. And these are made in order to shave them into the wax. With the sharpener to make a color. They smell very similar to Crayola's. I don't like the smell. Mm. No. Do I smell it? No. <laughs> We also get a whole roll of wick. But it's not waxy. That's mm -hmm. what we notice. It kind of just feels like string. Yeah, it's definitely braided, but it's not waxy. We get two packs of soy wax. And I feel like they were very smart about this. It's actually like shaved wax instead of little chips because I feel like the chips never melt. Yeah, these are definitely shaved down. But I feel like this company may have watched my videos. Look, it's resealable bag. You're very, uh, your head's a little, uh, <laughs> it's like a, like you're not that amazing. Relax. No, no, my head is normal size. It's not that big. Oh, 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 okay, maybe a little big. <laughs> we also get quite a bit of accessories, even more decoration. And last but not least, a huge catalog of instructions, but also illustrated. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. High uh, hopes. It was here for me. And now it's like up here, up here. Ah, why are you manipulating my arm? <laughs> All right, so according to the instructions, since I want to do the kitty cat mold, we need how much? 85 grams. Oh my God, you missed the garbage. I wasn't aiming for the garbage. I was aiming for the trash, which is Did you just you. call me trash? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I was like, you know what? Hmm? Just <laughs> pour. Oh! <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put 85. Whoa! Oh my. Okay, so we're at 85. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, That's a good way to break things. Let me try this. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that dense. Dense like your flight. Whoa, watch it. Your mouth. Here, do this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, it works. Shut up. All right, so we're putting it in the microwave for how long? Two minutes and 10 seconds, and we have to take it out every 30 seconds to stir. All right, so you know what that means? Give it to me. I'm already standing. How about that job? Oh, she's looking at me. I don't see that finger waving. Yeah, okay. <laughs> While we were putting the, the chips in the microwave, we're like, wait, we need to prepare our mold. And I told Zika she's responsible for it now. What are you doing? You told me to do the wick, not the mold. Yeah, but the wick goes in the mold, right? Ah! She's so aggressive today, what did I do? Exist. <laughs> That's all you had to do. <laughs> exist. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. Why are we like this? I don't know, here, have a ruler. The instructions say 20 centimeters of wick. You're not in camera anymore. <laughs> so aggressive. So the instructions say to put 20 centimeters of wick, and then it says to do five knots one on top of the other. And it says to not do it too tightly, I'm not sure why. My guess is because we're going to have to unwrap it later because it's the top part, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so just it don't- It doesn't explain it. But I mean, that's probably what it is. You Most just... probably, okay, smarty pants, like relax. <laughs> What's your mouth? Make me 20 centimeters. There you go. 
Okay. All right, so I did the five knots one on top of the other, but the issue is, is that the length is not long enough to reach the top part in order to have the placeholder thing. Yeah, so it definitely needs to go much higher than the actual entrance. So I think their their calculation is too low. All right, so I went ahead and re-knotted it and Sika is pretty confident that it's going to work. See, that's why I have you around here. Look at me, because I love you, even yeah. though you're aggressive. No, nothing. I mean, I mean, I love you. <laughs> so you put it through here, mm -hmm. and then put it through here, mm -hmm. and then you fold it. Yeah. And, and then... by the way, they do provide this, which is pretty cool. Hold on a second. It's too far out. I just complimented you. I'm fixing it. Whoa. <laughs> I'm fixing it. <laughs> okay, now we cover. Yeah. Woman? Oh no, we need hands for this. Hello. Hello. Hang on, I have Hello. this. <laughs> Hang on, we're gonna do it. <laughs> wow! So after much um, struggle and Sika vocabulary, hey. I, think, I think we're pretty good. And yep. she also made hers. So I think we're good to go. All right, so mine will go over here, nice and snug. Sika, the noise! I'm in my hood. Oh my god! And this over here. All right, so I want my kitty cat to be orange. So let's go ahead, cut this up. Voila. All right, so let's go ahead and shave a couple of them. They say the more the intense the color will be, but I don't want to dilute too much of it. So let's give a good moderate amount. All right, so let's go ahead and put maybe this much and we'll let it continue and melt in the microwave. Oh, that is a really pretty color. And Sika also noticed that they have nozzles for righties and lefties. Yes, which is perfect for me because I am left-handed. They have a spot for it here. Check, you can put the spatula in there. What? Yeah, but then it's gonna like melty. Look everywhere. at that. It's like they thought of everything. All right, so here we go. And four. Oh, that is so liquidy. Wow, <laughs> look at that. Oh no, it's leaking a lot. So I think we're just gonna have to let it sit for, they said 12, 12 hours. hours. Oh, that's why it's not waxed. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, oh I, I kind of zoned you out. <laughs> you never <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Okay, yours. All right, so the next thing that Sika wants to do is the dual colored for her, for her own. <laughs> Did you just call me? No, no. I called the yeah. candle that. <laughs> Punch you in the face. <laughs> So I was so, thinking of starting with 40 grams because my whole thing needs 140. Mm -hmm. So I think the outside could be 40 and then like 100 for the inside. I would say so. Yeah? Maybe okay. 40 might even be much, but... So like 30? I would say so, yeah. So the, we have just the coating on the, in, the, the outside. Outer, yeah. And then the inner core is going to be a lot more intense. So like a grayish, you said, on the outside? Yeah, I think so. Okay, grayish black. All right, so here is Sika's experimental one. Go ahead, don't wait. I'm trying. I think this is in the way. Here, I got you. <laughs> Yeah, we made it thicker. It's so goopy. Jackie, I don't think this is working. Oh no, so go ahead and melt it again. Did it harden? Just put it in for like 10 more seconds. No. Okay, she got it. Okay, start swirling ASAP. I'm trying! <laughs> it's so goopy. Go ahead. It's like the mold, the chocolate. Yeah, it's like the mold, the chocolate. <laughs> I think that was the extent of it. I think you need more <laughs> melties. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beer, beer. Okay. 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 Oh, it's pretty good though. It, it is somewhat coating. I'm trying. Oh, she is. What did you say? So you're gonna push this bitch in. <laughs> you asked me what I said. You got this? I hope. You know, it would be kind of a cool effect if it's droopy-esque. You okay? No. Look, it looks splotchy. It does, but it's kind of cool. It's not gonna be. It's not. It's too cake battery. You don't listen. <laughs> Pretty sure you're not supposed to shove your finger in there. Just a warning. It's not food. Do not lick. <laughs> so here's what Sika has so far. I really like the fact that she put this on that side because this is the hey. truth over there. We can. <laughs> hey, hey! This is where she put her finger. You technically weren't supposed to finger your candle, but okay. <laughs> but here it is. And now she's making the inside, which is gonna be red, right? Yeah. Okay. Or pink or whatever. <laughs> Alright, so here is Sika's super experimental candle. I mean, that's the whole point of having a kid is if we have that liberty. Sika, you don't have to wait for me. You go for it. I just wanna pour it in one shot and hope that the black won't- Oh, there's not nothing here. Oh no. Yeah, there's not- a... you might wanna- I... You got stingy. Mm, no. I don't want waxy slap. <laughs> So I think you can probably just melt a little bit more. Look, so far it doesn't look like the black is melted. No, I think that's going to be very interesting when we unmold it. All right, now we have to wait 12 hours. Many hours later. So here we are 12 hours later and it's time to unmold. I am super excited. And nervous. And nervous. Because mm. if it goes south, it means it breaks in half. 
Or if it's mine, it might peel. <laughs> True. Actually, we didn't think about that. I was thinking about it the whole time. We we're not sure how layers work with candles. Let's see. So first, we're going to start with my mold. So as you can see, the color is definitely a lot paler. Let's pull this off and... Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Alright, let's loosen the edges. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! One of the things I noticed is the ear... Gone. <laughs> so it was pretty fragile. We have the wick up here, still good. So because we didn't fill it all the way, this part down here is a lot more crumbly. Oh no. Make sure that you do fill all the way. Add an extra, I would say 20 grams because yeah, they definitely didn't ask for enough. <laughs> no! So I was trying to remove this part so that I can start lighting it and the entire string came right out. Oh man. So this candle is a bust. Let's try Sika's. And then now it's going to be Sika's mold. And ta-da! That actually worked. How do you feel? I didn't think it was gonna work. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel happy? <laughs> You're not sure? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure because, I don't know, I felt too easy to actually be functional. So I'm actually happy. That's good. Happy, I think, yes. That's good. You're content. 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 <laughs> Are you okay, honey? I'm... Hungry. Okay. 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 We'll feed you now, okay? Okay. So Sika won't be here for this part because we're gonna send her off to eat, but she's gonna come back at the end after we do the doing. But we're gonna do the burn test. Let's see if it actually stays burning for a long period of time. Let's burn it for about an hour. All right, so let's go ahead and use the butterfly stamp that they used. I think it's kind of like a tattoo transfer. And let's put it over here. And did it work? The answer is... Yes! Very cute! And tap it, tap it dry. Alright, so let's go ahead and light it and see what happens. That's a nice flame height, but is it gonna last? And just so you're aware, it does have a nice light radius, so it does illuminate quite a bit. Let's see what it's like in five minutes. A few minutes later. Here it is after seven minutes. Here it is after 20 minutes. And here it is after 40 minutes. So yes, it does lose a little bit of its height, but the luminescence is still pretty good. So other than the defects of pulling the string out, here's our verdict. So was it fun? Yeah. Did it do what it said it was gonna do? Yeah. Did the price really justify what we were getting? In my opinion, yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff, honestly. And it was pretty good quality. Not just that, Sika does have a couple of recommendations. Oh yes, I was like, why don't we remember my recommendations? Because <laughs> I said them before. Um, adding scents would be pretty cool. And the other thing is putting it on a Lazy Susan because you have multiple projects. So if it was just a stand for one project, then that's fine. But you have actually three areas where you can put your project. Yeah. So I think it'd be nice if you could like kind of swish through them to do your project. Yeah, I agree. A lazy Susan to just twirl around would be super convenient. But again, it's a pretty good kit in my opinion. So it it would be worth, worth your cash. <laughs> okay, I got me. That's, 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 it would be worth, worth your cash. cash. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Skillshare, who are huge supporters of this channel. For those of you who don't know Skillshare, it's an online learning community where thousands of creatives like you and I get together and either learn a new skill or get better at one that we already have. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, or just curious, you're sure to find the class that tickles your fancy. Whether you're into graphic design, crafts, or even animation, Skillshare is one of the best places to become a life learner. The other great thing is that it's not just classes, you also have a community in order to discuss the projects that you're working on. I absolutely love communities, so that's definitely a bonus. Right now I'm relearning how to use my Procreate, so I'm looking at this course. Introduction to Procreate on the iPad, Understanding the App by Robert Marzullo. There's so many shortcuts on Procreate, so I need to remember them. That way I don't have to keep searching for different sources to learn that one thing. Skillshare also has live classes, so you can experience real-time learning and interaction. So if you're looking for a membership with meaning, with no risks whatsoever, check the link down below because the first 1,000 grades who click the link down below will get a free trial of premium membership. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you want to reach Sika, remember you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. And if you want to find me, I'm both on Instagram, well not both, on many platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, and Twitch. <laughs> 
If you want to watch the previous Capture Trash with Sika, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a review or crafty or even hacks type video, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.